This is the exam review for semester two. The subject is physics for grade seven. So we talked about the volume of a solid of any shape, and we said that to measure the volume of a solid having any shape, we should pour water in a graduated cylinder. So this will be known as V1. And then we put the, a, the solid in the graduated cylinder, and we write the new volume, V2. So for example, if I had this is my graduated cylinder. If I put, let's say, 10 millimeters in here, and when I introduced the solid, so when I put the solid in here, and that became, the water became 15 millimeters here, we do V1 minus V2. This is V1, V2. So we do V2 minus V1. So that will be 15 minus 10 which equals 5 millimetres. So the volume of solid is V equals V2 minus V1. And the solid that we should use should be insoluble in water. That means it does not dissolve in water. Also, the volume of a solid does not depend on the shape of the solid. So if we change the shape of this circle, the volume will not change. So if we made the circle into a square, the volume will not change because it will have the same mass. So the volume and shape of a solid. So a rectangular prism of length A, width B and height C has a volume V where? So if we look, this is how we draw a rectangular prism. This is the rectangular prism. Okay, so it's A times B times C, so A times B times C. A cube of side A has a volume V where V equals A times A. A cylinder has a length and radius, has a volume where V equals pi. Pi is always 3.16. Pi is always 3.16. And you do r times r times length. Or we can also say pi times r squared times l. And a sphere has a, a sphere of radius r has a volume v where v equals 4 over 3 pi times r times r times star. Which we can also say 4 over 3 pi times r3, like that. And then we looked at density. We said the equation for density is um, mass divided by volume, and the SI units we use is kilogram per meter cubed, and one gram centimeter cubed equals a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. The density of a solid, how to measure the density of a solid. So remember density mm -hmm. equals mass divided by volume. How we measure mass, we use a top band balance. So how we measure this mass, we use a top down balance or a digital balance. And how we measure volume is we either do by calculations. Remember, if it was a rectangle, we did V equals A times B times C. And if it was a cube, we did V A cubed and so on. Or we can do it by liquid displacement. And that's when we put it in a graduated cylinder. And we, we put water in a graduated cylinder and we introduced a cubed. And we had V equals V2 minus V1. Then we have the density of a liquid. So to find the density of a liquid, it's still the same. We use density equals mass divided by volume. Mass is, we measure mass by putting the graduated cylinder in a top band balance or a digital balance. And then we pour the liquid and then we measure its mass. 
and then we do M2 minus M1 and to measure the volume we put pour the liquid in the beaker and we take the reading. And then we focus on the gaseous state. So we said that an empty cup contains air, air has mass, gas is compressible, gas is expandable and gas is elastic. These are the properties of gases. Okay, so these are the properties of gas. And then we looked at liquids and we said they are incompressible. So if we put them in a syringe, we can't compress them. The piston does not move and the volume of water in the syringe does not change. Unlike gases, this is different from gases, gases are compressible. So now we will do the questions on the, for the exam review. First question says, indicate the correct statements and correct the false ones. So let's have definite shape. This is true. Liquids occupy all the available available safe space. This is also true. And then it says the volume of a cube having a side of nine centimeters is eighty one. This is false. because we have to do 9 times 9 times 9 because it's a cube so the volume the volume of a cube having a side A side of nine centimeters is actually seven hundred and twenty nine centimeter cubed. And here I didn't write cubed, so you have to correct this as well. Okay, it's always centimeter cubed for volume. Question two says convert the following. 250 mil in litres, so millilitres to litres, we divide by a thousand, so it's 0 0.25 litres, 6.8 decimeter cubed into litres, decimeter cubed is exactly the same as saying litres, so it's 6.8 as well, 7,000 mil into decimeter cubed, we divide by a thousand, so it's 7. 0 0.037 centimeter cubed is exactly the same as saying so centimeter cubed is exactly the same as milliliters so the answer will be the same And 0 0.004 meter cubed is exactly as it's 4 times 10 to a power of minus 19. Then it says in question 3 that to measure the volume of a cube, a grade 7 student put the graduated cylinder as follows. The student states that the volume of the cube is 80 mil. Is this true? Justify. So to see the volume, we have to do V2 minus V1. This is 400, so we look at the deficient. So it goes up in 20, 420, 440, 460, 480, 500. So we know that this is 420. So this is 320, 40. So this is 340. So to do it, we do V2 V equals B2 minus V1, so that is 420 minus 
340. which equals 80 mil so it is true knowing that the rectangle has a height of 6 3 and a length of 7 cm calculate the density of the rectangle so v equals a times b times c or length times width times height doesn't matter which one you use so that's v 7 times 3 times 6 which equals which equals 126 centimeter cubed please don't forget the units a student of grade 7 a posed the following pro problem is the density of pure, pure water constant to solve this problem he took three different samples of water a b and c then he determined the densities the table Below shows the mass and volume of three samples. So we've got twenty we've got A, B, and C, and they give us the mass and volume. So the density, the units we said is kilogram. And we have to fill in the table. So it's kilogram per meter cubed. Density has an equation of mass divided by volume. So that's 20 divided by 20, which equals 1 gram per s 1 gram per centimeter cubed. But density is in kilogram per meter cubed, so we have to times by a thousand. So 1 times a thousand equals 1,000 kilogram per meter cubed okay we do the same here so we don't have to show the calculation for every single one showing me one is enough so we do the same and that will give us a thousand a thousand kilogram per meter cubed and this one is also a thousand kilogram per meter cubed and then it says compare the density of pure water in samples A, B and C. What do you conclude? We conclude We conclude that density of pure that density of pure water water is constant question five says we bring a bottle completely filled with water we empty the bottle from water is the bottle really empty so you write no remember i said that the bottle will contain air we immerse the bottle's mouth vertically downwards in a container filled with water the water does not fill the bottle why Due to the presence of air in the bottle. Okay, so it's due to presence of air in the bottle. We make an opening at the bottom of the bottle. We start again immersing the bottle's mouth vertically downwards. The water starts filling the bottle. Why? So the air escapes. So the air begins to escape. The air escapes. And it's replaced by water. And it is replaced by water. Question 6 says, replace the solid S on a pan balance as shown in the finger. Find the mass M of the solid. So to find the mass, we do M equals 50 plus 20 plus 10, which equals 60, 50, 67, 80 grams. 
In second experiment, in order to know the volume S, we bring a graduated cylinder containing 50 mils of water. We immerse S in the cylinder. The level of water becomes 52. So we do V equals V2 minus V1. So V2 is 52. V1 is 42, which equals 10 millimeters. Convert this to the SI unit of unit. Uh, convert the volume to SI unit. So that's 10 divided by a thousand equals 0 0.01 meters. Question seven says we had an unknown substance which could be liquid or gas. To find identify the nature. The following experiments are conducted with the aid of a syringe. First experiment, the syringe is filled to its middle with the unknown substance. When you push the in, piston inward, the piston does not move. Does the volume increase or increase? Is this some substance compressible and compressible? So the volume stayed the same. It didn't increase or decrease. The substance is is incompressible. Second experiment, the syringe is filled in to its middle with the unknown substance. We put the piston outwards, the piston does not move. Does the volume increase or decrease? You can see here that the volume did not change. So also stayed the same. And this is a substance expandable, expandable, it is inexpandable. So is this liquid or a gas? It's liquid because the volume did not change.